Greetings everyone and welcome to Warehouse 14. Let's go inside and see if we can find something to work on. Well, up here on the first shelf we have a signal generator and a couple other devices. Let's scan down here and see if we can find something to work on. There we go. There's a nice artifact that needs some attention. Let's put him on the bench and see what we can do with it. Well, here's a really nice barn find that ended up in the warehouse today. It is a Simpson 303 vacuum tube voltmeter. And uh, when I first uh, picked up this little artifact, I thought uh, I had myself uh, just a standard VOM, but uh, then I noticed it had the cable or the cord on it. So I thought, well, they don't usually come with that. So uh, this might be an interesting item to uh, try to get working again. It's uh, in reasonably good shape on the outside, except for the prerequisite uh, DNA and dirt all over it. And uh, on the back here, it looks like it was calibrated back in December of 1978. So this thing has been around a while. And before I plug it in and let all the smoke out of it, uh, I always think it's a good idea just to open it up and see what we got inside. You never know. You never know what you're going to find inside these things. Could be gremlins. Yeah. Could be uh, full of cockroaches or bed bugs. Who knows? But we're going to find out here in about three seconds. Looks like we are missing one of the screws on the back here. And, uh, well, that thing is in, the, in there pretty tight. Well, somehow it must come apart. Looks like somebody already tried really hard to... Oh, I see what's happening here. Not the back piece that comes off. It's the whole front. There we go. Well, that's a good thing to know. Looks like somebody tried before and <laughs> broke it apart. Okay. And uh, now that the back is open... And I'm looking at, oh boy, looks like we got some real corrosion going on here on this switch. A little bit of right here. That's not good. And there's the one of the vacuum tubes there. And the uh, dual diode tube over here and the rectifier for the power supply for this right here. Looks like a selenium rectifier, little power transformer, some uh, calibration pots, of course. Well, other than that corrosion, which I'm looking at and don't necessarily like what I see. It doesn't look like it's corroded through anything. I wonder if this thing will... Well, that one turns. Uh-oh, that one is stuck. Well, that's going to take a little bit of work. And the battery's missing. That must be what leaked all over, I'll bet. I just noticed that. Not too bad a shape up here. 
but no, I'll bet that drip down on top of that or something or that or some water got in this and corroded it but I think looks like everything else is looking pretty good but I think we'll go ahead and clean it up get all the crud off of it and we'll be back when uh, when we get her clean and just like that it's clean I'll tell you what if you want a clean Bakelite and shine it up this stuff is what you need it really did a wonderful job on this uh, Bakelite case on this old meter and uh, worked really well now for our next step is to try to free up this frozen uh, selector switch down here and I got a feeling that's going to be a real problem so uh, let's deal with that next before we put too much time and effort into this in case it turns out to be a huge fail so uh, let's get the back off of it and uh, we'll uh, try to get that freed up and working well folks I think this is going to be the end of this project unfortunately um, after working with this for several days and trying to get this uh, switch freed up it appears that the uh, corrosion is just too great uh, to deal with here it's it's leaked down all over the pots and through this uh, function switch here and it is just frozen in place uh, right between the shaft and the collet here and I have tried everything to free it up uh, I've tried uh, my famous fix for everything frozen aerocroil penetrating oil and let it sit on there for several days and it would not budge next thing I tried was a uh, small blowtorch around the uh, collet of the switch and the vice grips on the shaft right here and it is still stuck in place it is just totally frozen in there and so before I waste any more time on this uh, not knowing what else is corroded inside could be these pots and and some of these uh, uh, switch contacts uh, may be gone also I think we're just gonna have to call this a fail oh, shit. and uh, maybe use it as a an ornament for my bookshelf or something upstairs so I uh, if anybody needs a meter I'm pretty sure the meter is good on this if you need a replacement meter or uh, you need the case to it or almost any other thing uh, drop me a comment or something and uh, we'll get together and uh, we'll see if we can work something out but uh, I don't think I'm going to uh, waste any more time on this. And so, my friends, like all unruly artifacts, it's time to neutralize this one. See you in the next video, and thank you for watching.